Horace Howard Furnish Jane, born in 1898 and lived till 1975. He was Timothy Jane's father, my grandfather, and is the subject of what we're talking about right now. During World War II, was a member of the American Commission for the Protection and Salvage of Artistic and Historic Monuments in War Areas, which provided the U.S. military with lists and reports on cultural treasures in Europe and the Pacific arena. He was known for disassembling and shipping many tea houses, including the reception hall from the late Ming dynasty. It was built in the early 1600s by the Chongzhen Emperor. In 1644, there was an invasion on Beijing, and the next day, the emperor and his imperial house, household committed suicide in the building. The building was 26 foot tall, 45 foot wide, and 35 foot deep. It featured beams, carved brackets, and decorated with intricately painted animals, birds, flowers, and Chinese characters. Much of the nearly 300 year old painting all survived. He has a um, a whole room dedicated to him at our museum and we have many more things that are being displayed. Horace was sent by the Pennsylvania Museum of Art to buy and acquire many architectural settings in which the Pennsylvania Museum of Art would display in the East Asian art section of the museum. In Nara Prefecture, Japan, he also purchased a circa 1400 temple and in Tokyo a traditional tea house by architect Ogi Rodo from 1863. Horace was married to Henrietta Beach. She lived from 1908 to 1977 and they had five sons. Twins, Horace Jr., Franklin Beach, Charles, and Timothy Jane, my grandfather, also had Fairman Rogers in 1936. Our collection has many of these trays and woodcuts done by Horace Jean. Many of the veneer and woodcut sections, though, are popping off um, and are not adhered as well as they used to be. So now we are re-adhering them with syringes and varnishing them to protect them. Horace was a curator of oriental art at the Norton Gallery of Art in West Palm Beach, Florida. Conservation on this. He provided the first evidence that the ancient city of Ur in Iraq of Chaldees was inhabited as late as 324 BC. The British Museum along with Horace found tablets and ruins of houses proving that the structures were occupied down to the 12th year of Alexander the Great's reign and that Ur survived into a subsequent Hellenistic period. The ancient Greek word Hellas was gradually recognized as the name for Greece, from which the word Hellenistic was derived. This was actually collected by my great-grandfather, and um, it had some damage from when he had it hanging in his house in Florida. So we want to display it into our museum and put it with everything else that was his. We still have a lot more things to show, including some enameled glass that he collected, along with many other things. Thank you for watching the Twistback channel. Our museum is growing slowly into exactly what my grandfather wanted.
We have many things that we've inherited, including Benjamin Franklin drawings, Rembrandt, and many other things that will be displayed. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and you will be notified when we have more things to post.